You know RFK Stadium is going to be sold out. You know it's going to be loud. And when the hated Eagles come to town, it might just jump off the ground. This is a must for both. Philadelphia tied with Dallas at 4-1. and one, Washington at 3-2. and two. Third down at the 34. First possession for Philadelphia. Floyd Dixon, the third wide receiver in the game. And Cunningham out of the shotgun with time. And a lot of it. Pursued and finally out of the pocket. Going deep. Incomplete. Good coverage by Danny Copeland. Barnett again, the intended receiver. Well, the Redskins stop him, and they love that here. But interesting, the, the Eagles came out, and they really went right after him because two of those passes were, were like 50 or 60-yard bombs from Cunningham. Just about as far as he could throw it. Minor the lone setback. That's Terry Orr, the man in motion, and Ripon gets it to Orr. Up the middle, first down, Redskins into Eagle territory. Thomas made the stop after a gain of 16. Ripping to Orr. Finer. Looks like about a yard and a half shy of another first down. Finer again. Redskin first down. Close to the 20. Clyde Simmons tripped him up. Six rushing plays in a row for Washington. On this drive, they're controlling the line of scrimmage. Again, no huddle. Third and three. Seth Joyner was not in position. He was looking back. The pass to Monk complete. It'll be first and goal at the six. Nine-yard gain. Hey, I think of, of, of Gary Clark, he's going to get the big plays, but who is the guy who's been doing them for so many years? Art Monk just always seems to be open. They're not going to single Reggie White. When they're going to pass, there's going to be two big bodies on him. Complete to Clark. The extra point team, I didn't see anybody signal touchdown, but they're coming on to kick the extra point, so no more need be said. And that's a touchdown. That's the guy that... When we talked to the Eagles last night, that was the guy that we, they were worried about, Gary Clark. And the other thing, Reggie White says, we got to stop them on their first drive. They said they always have big drives against us, and the guy that's always a part of that first big drive is Gary Clark. Low Miller for the extra point. Rutledge holding, hits the upright. Bounce through, it's good. A good bounce for Chip Low Miller. 7-0 Redskin. And these are the kind of games that Joe Gibbs loves. I'll guarantee you, I know about the quarterback, I know about the posse and the passing, but he loves to run the football. Rippin with time, gets it to Monk, who's open and wide open. And he doesn't run out of bounds till he gets all he can. Otis Smith made the stop, a pickup of 30. The way to beat the Eagles is with play pass. You run at them, then you fake the run. One, it gives you time. It keeps those pass rushers off you. Two, it brings the safeties and linebackers up, and it gives your receivers a lot of room to work. Middleton comes to the left. Griffin goes back to throw. Monk again. Griffin rolls left. A little bit of pressure. Still complete, and still to Monk. Flag on the play. Monk's down inside the 15. Or down to about the 15. Penalty marker down, a gain of 12. Number 30 on the defense. That penalty is declined. First down! Holding against Otis Smith on Ricky Sanders. That's declined. First down, Redskins. Eagles for Denver looking back. At Incomplete. That's Clark again. If he would have had that one, that's a touchdown. Watch Clark here. He makes a move, just sits right there in the goal line, and he one-hopped it into him. He had it. That was a touchdown. Field goal from Low Miller. Not good, and Washington's lead is still 7-0. 
He fires in motion. Cunningham with a blitz coming. Marshall. The first there. Nobody to pick him up. Nothing Cunningham could do. A loss of 12. Cunningham says that he always wants to know where Wilbur Marshall is, too. But you just watch him. He comes from the outside there in the right of the screen. No one blocks him. Hema. Back deep for Philadelphia. Good burns kick. Adequate. Sukahima down to the, about the Redskin 44-yard line. It'll be first and 10 there for Philadelphia. Redskin showing blitz. Flag on the play. Straight ahead is Byers for good yardage. Second and five. Cunningham looking quickly. Fred Barnett. <laughs> find quarterbacks in there no. pulling guys too often. Here's Cunningham out of the pocket and tripped up. Fumble. Ball was loose, but he might have been down. What he was doing is he was reaching to try and get that first down. He was just short. He went down and he tried to reach the ball out. Watch him now. He knows it's third down and he's looking where he has to get. See him try and reach the ball out there. And as the ball hits the ground, it comes out of his hand. But that wasn't enough for a first down anyway. Distance good. Field goal good. And the Eagles get on the board. Oh, this is football weather. I mean, this is the Perfect. time you ought to be playing football on grass or growing pumpkins and stuff like that. Pumpkins and football and grass, it all goes together. Oh, oh. And Mitchell tripped up at Redskin at the Eagle 40, and he was down. Tripped up by Floyd Dixon. 47-yard return. In these games, don't forget special teams. It seems like there's always a big special teams play. This one is a big special teams play against them. Brian Mitchell, one of the good return guys in the league. 39. Clark was the motion man again. White puts the pressure on. Is caught by Ricky Sanders. And I tell you, I would still start getting uh, some more help on Reggie White because he's getting awfully close to Rippon. Rippon had to throw that ball, and he throws a perfect ball in there. Irvin bounces outside, and Ricky Irvin's inside the five. Knocked out by Eric Allen. But a 15 yard game. Nothing that makes a defensive coach more mad than than a, a running game going. And everyone starts saying, you have to stop the run. You have to stop the run. And then when they run on you, it just kills you. Third down, very short. At the one. Get in. Byron Evans led the green defense. Now watch the green guys win it down here. See the, the Eagles get down, they, they get down low, they miss the tackles there, they get penetration there, and there's no first down. Or no touchdown or no nothing. In fact, they're gonna it brings up fourth down and they're gonna kick a field goal. But the Eagles control the line of scrimmage there. Low Miller. This time is good. The Redskin lead is now 10-3. Yeah, for Cunningham again, flushing him out of the pocket. Collins was chasing him. Pass is picked off by Alford Mays. Mays. Inside Eagle territory where the Redskins will take over. A minute and seven seconds left to play in the first half. Big play by Andre Collins. You know, the Redskins know that when you flush Cunningham out, he always wants to flush to the right. So you always want to run someone out there when you flush him. Andre Collins ran out to the right when Cunningham was flushed and hit him just as he was throwing that ball. And that's why Al Boyd Mays got the interception. So Rippon going to work now. Back to throw. And down he goes. Nobody blocked. 
Seth Joyner and Byron Evans. It's third and 19 again, Whitman is chased and sacked by Clyde Simmons, this time the first one to arrive. Andy Harmon also on the scene, along with Reggie White. Washington 10, Philadelphia 3. The Redskins have had a lot of chances, only to have 10 points. I think that's what happened to Kansas City and the Eagles. They talked about run, 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 and then they just play back. Outside to Monk. Ripping hits. Knocked out by Otis Smith. Ripping back to throw it again. This time it goes deep and it hits Clark. Gary Clark out of bounds inside the Eagle 30. Knocked out by Wes Hopkins. And that's good pass protection. I mean, here, Ed Simmons, we were talking about on Reggie White. He took a man-to-man. -man. They doubled in the middle. They had a hold here. They gave Rippin time. And then, of course, given Rippin time, gave Gary Clark time to come all the way across the field. Now, watch Ed Simmons. He's singled up here. See number 76? He's blocking Reggie White. He gets that left hand up there and stops him. Then he gets a push and gets him turned. Tommy Jeter. Part of the Eagle front four now, number 98. Rich Kotite had said that he had planned to give him more action, a flag on the play. And from the applause by Clark, you'd think it's against, against Philadelphia. Second and goal. Ball's at the five. Rippins looking. Ball got it out of his hands. Picked off by Byron Evans. Chased by Byron Evans. Lateral out of bounds finally by Donnie Warren Eric Allen got now, Eric, the lateral Eric, Eric Allen could say he's right he says okay that's what he's saying right there he said I gave him the penalty I gave him another penalty and then we got the ball back so that shows that we were right but again Rippin throws another duck here I mean he may have gotten hit there but he's been throwing some wobbly passes Evans gets the ball now watch, you really have to have hands to do something like this. He switched to his right, from his right to his left. Then he sees something, and he just passes a lateral out there. This is Byers, and Byers bangs for a first down. It's been Byers when the Eagles have been able to run it. Here's Cunningham. Alvin Williams makes the catch. And another Philadelphia first down, a gain of 12, stopped by Brad Edwards. The handoff again is to Byers, and Byers rumbles into the secondary, a fumble, and the Redskins have it. I think that's Tim Johnson who got that ball. He left earlier with a bruised ankle. What he was doing down there, I have no idea. Watch him, he's a tackle in the middle. Either that or he starts to pursue because this ball comes flying out of here, goes backwards, and boom, right into Tim Johnson. Danny Copeland's helmet caused the fumble. Third down. Here's Rippin going for Ricky Sanders and got him. Sanders down the sideline to the 34-yard line of Philadelphia before he's knocked out by Wes Hopkins. Watch this, watch, watch Evans, number 56. He's coming free on the blitz. He's right up there, so Rippin couldn't step and follow through. He just threw that one up. There's no one there to block Byron Evans. He goes up, Rippin somehow gets it by, beyond, through, or over Evans, and right into Ricky Sanders' hand. That's the, thing, that's the thing you can do against the Eagles. When they blitz, you can either get sacked or you can get a big play against them. They got a, a new guy playing left tackle that's playing against Clyde Simmons. I think they're doing a great job. Ripping a Clark. That looks as if it's enough for a first down. There is Irvin's inside the 10 to about the 7. Finally stopped by Waters. You got a tough guy. Ripping throws it out of the end zone on third down. And here comes Low Miller again. Low Miller is good. And the Redskins increase their lead to 10 points, 13 to 3. 
Here's Rippin back to throw. Looking, coming. He's open. Inside the 20. Inside the 15. Rich Miano, who replaced Waters, made the stop. Here's Rippin rolling left. Well, Sanders again out of the end zone, and again, Low Miller will have a shot. Clyde Simmons put the heat on Rippin. Yeah, the Redskins have been able to move the ball. That's the sixth time that they've been down inside the 20. They only have 13 points. Bad news for the Eagles is they've been blocked. Their defense is being controlled, and their offense isn't moving the ball. Their offense hasn't gotten anything going all day. So Low Miller will try from 28 yards out. And he hits again. That's three out of four for Chip today. 16 to three. Second down and 10. Heath Sherman has taken Byers' place. The blitz is on and the flag is down. So is Cunningham, Tim Johnson. Back for the sack. Holding against Philadelphia. And the Redskins have done a pretty good job of keeping him controlled. You better. Third and 20 again. He has to come out of the pocket and fires deep. Incomplete and no flags this time. Fred Barnett. Stop and covered by A.J. Johnson. And again, the Eagles send on their punting team. And the applause for the defense. Fires is back. Cunningham is back. Cunningham is down. So is the flag. Stokes and Mann. Fourth sack by the Redskins on Randall Cunningham. And I think this Washington Redskin team has had something to do with it, oh, too, sure. because they played brilliantly on both sides of the ball. Cunningham gets it to Fred Barnett. Uh, Calvin Williams again. Sorry. Alvoid Mays made the stop. Here's Cunningham with time. Gets the ball to Myers. First down. Cunningham. To Barnett. Barnett out of bounds at about the 10. Cunningham back to throw. Lofts it into the end zone. And he's out. Barnett goes in motion. And Cunningham on the quarterback draw. Down to about the five. It'll bring up a third down. Stopped by Andre Collins. They need two touchdowns. They're not thinking field goal. Cunningham. Deflected. Monty Coleman with a diving deflection. There's Cunningham again trying to break up another fight. On fourth down. Cunningham pumps. Lofts. Incomplete. No flag. The Eagles want one, but there is none. Um, I think that was it. The Eagles knew that they needed two touchdowns. They had to get one there. Fourth down, you can tell the Redskins feel that, that they've done it. And now, Goodburn cannot get back as deeply as he would normally so perhaps the Eagles have a better chance from here to block it oh the Redskins are going to take two Goodburn just trots out of the end zone they'll concede the two points and get the free kick from the 20 still got to kick it oh, they're all goofy bad kick you didn't rub it enough <laughs> no. or the right place out to about the 47. The Eagles have the ball in their own territory, their own 47, handled by Booty. And now there's another scuffle. I mean, I think his teams are always better prepared than anyone else's because he, he'll always have a great defense, but he doesn't always have the best players. This is Byers. The Eagles, no timeouts left, and... Uh, Away go the yard line marker. Where do these guys have to go? <laughs> I don't know. They have a flight, maybe. That's Walker. Herschel. They finally got him hurt.
it out of bounds or close to it. Well, I think the big thing is the Redskins didn't want him to get out of bounds. He didn't get out of bounds. Cunningham out of the shotgun, and he comes out. And did he get out? Yes, he did. 32 seconds left. This has got to be in the end zone, like you said. Touchdown to Calvin Williams. Okay, now they have some excitement, see, because now that gives them 11. They can win with a touchdown. You go back to that, thinking that safety, and you wonder, and I'll guarantee you, there's only 25 seconds, but Joe Gibbs is a little tight right now. Eagles has to make something happen with the ball. You got to put something on the ball, and it starts with the way you tee it up. You see the way they did? They didn't even put it on the tee. They put it in front of the tee. So that's going to make a flip end over end. It's like a mole's been at work <laughs> at RFK. I don't know which way it's going now. It's going to be Eagles and the Redskins had it and lost it on a scramble. Officials down close to the bottom of the pile. The Redskins do get it. And when you see the head coach take off the headset, you know that today belongs to the other people. So for John Madden, this is Pat Summerall saying so long from RFK Stadium, where the final score was the Redskins 16, the Eagles.